All right, Toro's new 60 volt max E Time Master is now officially on the market. And I wanna go over the differences between the gas version and the new electric version. And to top it off, I had the opportunity to talk to one of Toro's engineers about the new 60 volt E Time Master. So lots to talk about, here we go. So Toro has finally launched the new 60 volt max E-Time Master lawnmower. Very exciting. And I wanna go over top to bottom, front to back, what's the same, what's different to kinda of help you if you're deciding on whether or not to make the jump to the electric model or to stick with gas or to even buy a Time Master in general. So that being said, let's get right into it. Let's talk about what's the same, what's different. Here we go. Now as we go through the differences in these mowers, I want you to just keep in mind, one of the things that the engineer I spoke with from Toro told me is that the primary focus of the E-Time Master is battery life and battery longevity. So that was the main focus here. Some changes were made uh, with that in mind and yeah, just something to keep in mind. We'll go over that, we'll talk about that, but I just wanted to preface this video. When we talk about the changes with the E-Time Master, that's the, gonna be the answer why. Okay, so we're gonna start right at the top. We're gonna start with the handles. Now, Toro has been updating its personal pace handle on its lawnmowers over the last couple of years, and the Time Master is finally getting the new curved personal pace handle. I think it looks really good. It's super comfortable, and it's just overall nice. Toro's also updated the traction assist handle uh, this is used particularly for those who have hills to climb and need a little bit more uh, to grab on with the handle here. On the gas model of the Time Master, this was a blue handle, plastic. On the new E-Time Master, it is a thinner, more elongated, black metal handle. And I like it better. I think it's a nice touch. It doesn't take up as much space on the main handle underneath the personal pace handle. So that's really nice if you're maneuvering this around or transporting it around. You're gonna want as much space on this handle as possible. I think that was the mindset there. Next thing to point out on the gas time master, you have this blue safety switch that you have to release in order to move the safety handle against the personal pace handle, which engages the blades on the mower. The E-Time Master does not have that. When you wanna start the E-Time Master and when you wanna move the E-Time Master, you have to start it up just like any other mower in the 60 volt lineup. You pull the safety handle against the personal pace handle and then you push the start button down here and that will start the mower up, the blades will spin, the blades need to be spinning, the blades will always be spinning whenever you're transporting this mower under power. So something to keep in mind there. That is a change, we'll talk about that a little later with the belts and go from there. But just like any other uh, 60 volt mower here in the lineup, you have a safety key that goes in to the mower here and it toggles between auto mode and max power mode and it has your start button there too. And then to stop the mower, uh, turn it off, you just let go of the safety handle there. All right, getting into the business side of things here, the latest model of the Gas Time Master has a 223cc Briggs & Stratton engine on it. Uh, the 60 volt max E Time Master has a brushless motor, battery compartment accessible right from the top with a magnetic lid, nice touch. Love that. Has three battery compartments in here. This particular model comes with two 10 amp hour batteries, which Toro says will give you an hour's worth of runtime, which is great. And if you wanna add to that here, you have an extra battery compartment. You can get another 10 amp hour battery if you want, or you can use any of the 60 volt batteries from Toro's lineup if you're already invested in that ecosystem. Working our way down here, adjusting the height of cut is the, exactly the same. The deck is exactly the same, nothing has changed there. Uh, the wheel size, the, the letters to adjust the height of cut, it's all the same. You have your rear bagging, side discharge, nothing's changed there. It's all gonna be very, very familiar. All right, now getting into the belt situation. So the E-Time Master has one less belt on it than the 60 volt Time Master. You have a belt to spin the blades, 
and to time the blades and then you have another drive belt and on the gas mower you can have the engine running and you can use the power from the motor to transport the mower around the yard without having to engage the blades. That's not going to be the case here on the 60 volt E Time Master. So that belt has been removed in this build of the E Time Master, which I'm not really a fan of personally, but the good news is is that uh, Toro is considering adding that, bringing that back in a future version of this. So something to look out for and keep in mind. Uh, if you do want to transport this in the meantime under power, the blades will be spinning. So there's no way to bypass that. Um, but in the future, hopefully, we'll be able just to use battery power, self-propel, no blade spinning and transport. And then we'll have an option to engage the blades whenever we want, just like we're used to with the gas model. Now one other thing to point out about the belts and pulleys here that the Toro engineer pointed out to me, there's a lot less activity with a brushless motor. There's a lot less vibrations going on when this is in use. And because of that, they expect the belts and pulleys, the longevity to be twice as long as they are on the gas mower. Now I'll point out that my experience is quite different from what I've read online with some other people, but I have still running the original pulleys and the original belts on my Time Master, my gas Time Master. So I haven't had any issues, knock on wood, with the gas model. So, but they are saying that they expect the belts and pulleys to last much longer, less issues because there's just not as much aggressive activity in comparison with the gas model. Last thing I want to point out are the blades. The blades are exactly the same. There's only one minor difference. Again, going back to battery life and protecting battery life, the sail on the blade where the mulch teeth are is a lot less prominent on the E Time Master than it is on the standard issue gas Time Master blades. Uh, you don't have as high of a lift on that blade on the E Time Master as you do on the gas. However, if you want your choice, you can order a higher lift blade. You can order the standard issue Time Master blades, same part number, throw them on the E-Time Master, or you can get higher lift blades than that. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can find those part numbers and order those. If that's something you wanna do, you can do that. You do sacrifice a little bit of battery life, something I'm gonna be testing here soon, but at least you can get a better quality of cut with a higher lift, better mulch quality. So something to consider, but at least you know that the thickness of the blades, they're not running special blades on this thing. I know a lot of electric mowers have thinner blades that feel a little bit flimsy. Not the case here. You're getting a solid standard Toro blade. So there we go. I hope that's a helpful breakdown for you. I know some sacrifices are made here. That's something that I'm still getting used to, especially transporting this thing around and having to engage the blades. If you do it on auto mode, uh, then it will save a little bit of uh, battery life for you. Um, I actually just kind of push it around personally. Unless I'm on the far end of the yard, then I need to, you know, use, use the battery power to get it back because I don't want to push it all the way across the yard. But hopefully that helps you understand the differences between the two models. If there's anything that I may have missed, meet me down in the comments section and we'll talk about it and I'll see if I can answer your question for you. Special thanks to Toro for sending me uh, the e Time Master to try out and to compare and put these videos out for you to answer these questions for you and special thanks to uh, the team there for allowing me to talk to the engineers and get a little bit more detail and behind the scenes of what went in to the e Time Master what the thought process was that was really fun for me and I really appreciate that again thank you for watching if you have any questions please let me know Please make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because there's still more content to come here. We're gonna be testing battery life. We're gonna be testing those other blades. Full review on the way. So please make sure you're subscribed. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.